Hi everyone, welcome back to another series of REACH 21 Question. My name is Aman and I'm your host today. I'm also a REACH Youth Supervisory Panel member. In today's series, we have a very special person, Mr. Tan Kiat Hao, who's the REACH Chairman as well. Let's all welcome Mr. Tan Kiat Hao. Hi Aman. Hello. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you too. So what do you have today? Today, we have the Latte Art Challenge. Mm. Just specially for you. Oh really? Okay, I love drinking coffee. I've not made Latte Art before, but I'm up to a challenge. Let's go for let's it Let's try, then. yeah. Come, let's go. Nice to meet you, Satish. Nice meeting you. I'm going to show you how to do the milk part. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the milk. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. I want to start feeling it a bit hot. So how you know when to stop is basically when you touch it and it's a bit too hot to keep it on for like a couple seconds. Yeah, all right, okay. Okay, okay. and then you start pouring like this. So just gonna see from the bottom and you can do circles and then when you reach about three quarters what you see is then that you can start doing your latte art from here so all right so, how many cups of coffee do you drink per day well too many uh four or five cups of coffee a day wow uh, do you prefer working from home or office well i prefer a mix uh, I enjoy going to office because meeting people and f colleagues but I enjoy working at home because I have a baby at home so oh, I can wow. pop, by, pop out and say hello to Isaac you know uh, and, and just see him just uh, between meetings that's really awesome Do you prefer bubble tea or ice cream? Ice cream, I love ice cream I love all the flavours with nuts pistachio, almond and uh, you know cookies and cream I love those those and of course durian <laughs> Pancakes or waffle? Which waffles. Waffles with ice cream. Wow, that's right. There's a saying that if you take over 20 seconds, you can get... You can't sleep the night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I think I'm used to it. I drink so much coffee. It's almost as if I'm immune to the caffeine. Chai peng or chicken rice? Well, I, 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 lo I love chai peng. <laughs> what is your favorite cartoon? <laughs> Actually, I, 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 I love watching anime, uh, surprisingly. Wow. Yeah, so I like to love the Japanese ones, you know. And when I grew up, it was like Gundam, uh, Naruto, and now it's, uh, I love the one on Netflix, uh, Demon Slayer. Anime person. What is your ideal time of holiday? Nature. You became a politician just when you became a financial, mm, mm. and it is really, really challenging. How do you personally manage it? I think it's tough in terms of finding the right balance so that you have time for family. Uh, but I make sure there's protected time. Now, what is one thing that you have um, learned from your son? So, uh, one thing I learned from him is just be cheerful. And when you wake up every day, uh, regardless of uh, the circumstances you're in, if you wake up with a smile, I think the whole day turns more it's beautiful. I can't agree more. What's your biggest uh, role model or inspiration? I would say, in, in a way, uh, my wife. Uh, I, I think she's an amazing person. You know, regardless of the pressure, regardless of the uh, stress in life, right? able to do it with a smile, I think that's fantastic, amazing, a lot to learn from her. What, what is um, a pivotal moment you know, on your leadership journey during your younger phase? Well, I don't think there is one point on where you pivot you know, and then there's a, a renovation or something that's really changed your views in life. I think it's a, uh, for me, it's a, always, a, it's always a uh, cumulative uh, learnings, cumulative experiences that I have and for me it's that those experiences that shape uh, who I am, how I view the world and what I want to achieve in life. What are like some qualities you would say is important as a leader? I think to lead, uh, to be part of a team and uh, leading a team, I think first and foremost you must care for people. Let's sit on for a coffee session. Oh, right, okay, more. sure. So come on, get a chance to try our coffee that we made. Finally, yeah. What do you anchor on when making you know, tough decisions in life? I, uh, it all boils down to the values. Uh, what values that you hold dear, uh, what values that you think is uh, important for us to live a uh, life that's meaningful, that's purposeful, 
is the does good for society and this really boils down to values. What's your favorite um, memory or moment in Parliament? <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't know whether it's a favorite moment, but it was certainly memorable uh, when I first did my first speech in Parliament. How would you um, sum up reach 2021's uh, outcome so far? Well, it's been a busy year for reach, uh, and I think it's a particularly uh, challenging year for Singapore and Singaporeans uh, amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. And I think REACH team worked very, very hard uh, to reach out, yeah. engage, and hear from different segments in Singapore. Uh, what was your most memorable moment so far, engagement-wise? Well, I think uh, very difficult for me to choose one. Uh, every moment is so memorable. Right. Uh, from having uh, uh, chit-chat sessions with uh, youths, uh, from uh, rental housing, right? We booked the ca cafe. Uh, we had a small cozy sh session when that was when SMM were allowed, allowed for some of these gatherings. Reach is a government propaganda mouthpiece. Um, this statement was actually made out, and is it true? And how can you know we help to change some youth perspective of Reach? Well. I think it's very odd for a propaganda unit, if you are really a propaganda unit, to go out and always ask you what you think and what you feel. And we never tell you what we think, what we feel. So I think it's actually the other way around. We are there to hear, to listen, and take your feedback and share it with our colleagues in government. How do you think youths can speak up you know, on issues that matters to them a lot? I think the youth can add so much to the conversations that we have and I encourage all young people to speak up to join in the conversations, join our REACH dialogue sessions uh, volunteer to be friends of REACH so they can be part of the network in which we hear uh, from different segments of society they join us in REACH panel How do you envision the role of youth ambassadors to be like in this um, current phase of the digital but more segregated uh, era. I think it's about adaptability and I think part of it is that although interactions, face-to-face -face inter interactions are minimized, are lesser, but doesn't mean that we have to compromise on the quality of our engagements. How can we encourage youths to, uh, who are generally more apathetic uh, to share their views on national views? I think you, Rich gives them a platform we engage in some of these dialogues uh, together with young people and so together with other segments of the community. Mm. So to young people, I would say, don't feel shy, step forward, be part of this conversation. How would you say, you know, um, are your, your views on fake news and how would you say um, we could curb, um, challenge, you know, overcome them? I think before we forward, I think we think twice, be sure, does it really add to the conversation? Does it add to clarity? Does it allow somebody else to make a better decision? What is your take on businesses you know, or sectors you know, that might go um, less relevant in the post-COVID world? I mean, pre-COVID, COVID, post-COVID, I think these are just different uh, markers that we have. But I think the main point is really about um, we have to set the world is not static. And I think there's no one model that works all the time. So things that work today may not work tomorrow. So it means that we have to work hard to continue to innovate, to stay relevant, to always upskilling ourselves, learn new skills. And this is a continual process of re renewing ourselves, renewing our economy, and regenerating our economic opportunities for ourselves. Now I'm done asking you uh, all the questions I have. Let's finish this and let's... Mm. Um, Very good coffee. Very good session. Yep, indeed I actually like the latte. Before we wrap things up, do you have any? Else to say. So thank you for having this session and I really enjoyed the coffee and the latte art. Uh, not so successful but it was great fun doing it and really enjoyed the session with you. Um, I think to all our friends out there, uh, we'd like to hear from you. Please join us in your conversations, reach out to us. We want to work together with you, journey together with you, and importantly co-build Singapore with you. Let us know how you feel, your sentiments, your views. Let us know. Now today we reached the final episode and this is really sad for me. I think many of you will feel the sadness as well. But don't worry guys, we have our social media platforms below. For, don't forget to follow us, tune in for more future series, something like that, maybe even more interesting. Other than that, 
Stay safe, stay healthy. Ciao.